Hello YouTube, my name is Connor McCauley. I work at Ceratech Inc. in Mission Viejo. And today I'm going to talk to you about setting up a random analysis solution 111 inside of NX12. So here we have a rod that we're going to be applying the random vibration analysis to. We have a node connected with an RVE2 as well as the fixed node constraint on the end of that RVE2 and then a enforced motion load applied to that node. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a solution 111 modal frequency response. You see here. I'm going to go into the general tab and we're going to create a system cell that will give us the correct modal output that we're going to be looking for. And that system cell is RANFRF number 524. You're going to set that to 1. That should add in there. Go ahead and hit OK. And then in the file man management section, we're not going to have to change anything neither with the executive control, case control, or the bulk data, I believe. So go ahead and hit OK. We have our solution set up. The next thing it's going to ask you is to set up your modal frequency subcase, which I already have set up, but I'll show you how to set that up. So like I said, choose modal frequency subcase. And we're going to create the forcing frequencies. So today we're going to create a freak 2 and freak 4. And you're going to want to change it to modal in order to access that freak 4. You would hit create, but I've already done so, so let me show you what we have in here. So this is the freak 2. And these are the values that we chose for those frequencies. So go ahead and hit OK. And then as well as the freak 4. the values for that. And you're going to want to highlight both of those and down in list hit add. And go ahead and close out of that. Next thing you're going to want to do is create your load. So you're going to go to new load set, frequency excitation set. You're going to create a new excitation field and here it's going to say edit for you when you choose field and then go ahead and add the frequency and the value that you're going to choose and this is how you would input those values do so and then hit ok this is where you would go into table constructor Next thing it's going to do is create a load set. And you're going to right click and hit new and force motion load. And this is what you're going to see. And we're just going to put a value of one in the y direction. I know it says inches, but it's just going to be a scalar in this case, based on what the frequency excitation set was set to. And you would go in and hit new subcase. This is where we're going to create your random subcase. But I've already done so, so we're going to go in and open that up and see what we have inside. So here you're going to do the same thing with the forcing frequencies. I actually have not added it to the forcing frequency, freak 4. So we'll go ahead and add that there. And then next you're going to create your PSD. So this is the PSD that I had set up. So you would enter it the same way as the forcing frequency with the frequency, comma, the PSD factor. And in order to get to that, you're going to change it to scale factor and scalar field. Hit OK. Add that to the list. Hit OK again. And that's it for setting it up. So you would go ahead and hit solve, run the solution, and then go and open up the results. So these would be your modal frequencies and then your random results. So we're going to look at the RMS stress. And 
and then look into the forcing frequencies for the modal. And sometimes you won't get deformation when switching between the random and the modal. And I think that's due to the system cell that we created. So what you're going to want to do is go back out, return to home, and then go back in and open up the modal again. And that usually fixes it. As you can see, we have some strange results for the deformation. So what you're going to want to do is go into edit post view. Go to the deformation and change the complex from amplitude to real. And that will give you the correct modal deformation. So that's all that we have for you today. Thanks for watching and go ahead and check out some of our other YouTube videos on the site.